What's up? Yeah, welcome back to the Bed with Benghini podcast, a captivating podcast that opens the door to unfiltered and relatable conversations about the unique life experiences of millennials. So if you're a millennial or if you're a curious listener who just listens to a good podcast or who's looking for, you know, some sort of shared experience, then this is definitely the podcast for you. Um, I just wanted to say that if you haven't watched last week's episode, last week I spoke about everything that has to do with self-sabotage i'm so excited for that episode because it was dear and near to my heart so when you have some time please take time okay when you can definitely listen to it um and yeah Um, in this episode we're talking about dating in your 20s and what i wish i knew if you're currently in your 20s if you're in the dating scene if you have a lot of questions then this episode is probably the best one for you because in this episode i'm going to be sharing everything that you need to know while dating in your 20s or while trying to date in your 20s at least let me say what i wish i knew before getting married you know what i wish someone had told me while i was dating in my 20s so if you're in your 20s if you're dating if you're looking for some sort of dating advice then this is definitely the episode that you need to listen to now a quick disclaimer i am a mom stay at home right now so i have my baby in the background you might hear a little baby voice but i hope that is nothing but a blessing onto your life okay so today, as we get on to today's episode, I just want to um, say that if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and then be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you actually like it. All right. So dating in your 20s can be very exciting. It can be such an adventurous time, um, depending on who you are as a person. I'm not going to lie. For me, I learned a lot of things when I was, I mean, at least before I got married, I learned a lot of things um, from my past relationships. And I just wanted to say that dating in your 20s definitely opens your eyes to a lot of things. If you're the type of person that um, is a fast learner, you get to learn some of the things that you want and don't want. But if you're the type that is just free flowing, then you're just going with the flow. You just really don't learn anything from the process. But what I want to say is dating in your 20s is definitely an exciting time to get to know people get to know yourself get to know the things that you want um and you know generally in this episode i want to share things that i wish i had known while i was dating my 20s and things that i want you to know um while you're dating in your 20s all right okay so the very first thing that i'll say is to know yourself as a person um i feel like dating in general not even just in your 20s but dating in general you need to know yourself before you invite someone into your space now knowing yourself also allows you to know what you can take and what you cannot take um you know just generally knowing the values you know your do's and and don't so knowing yourself will definitely let you um will help you to know the things that you want and the things that you don't want and it will even help you make better choices so that way you will know exactly what type of partner that you want to be with so first thing that i'll say is definitely know yourself take as much time as you want in the world to get to know yourself being in a relationship is not a rush okay knowing yourself is actually key than rushing to be in a relationship if you don't actually know yourself so know yourself and then you can move from there now point number two i say communication is key and i'm not gonna lie communication in every type of relationship is key friendships relationship job like anything is key but most especially dating in your 20s because there's a lot of misunderstanding going on okay a lot of miscommunication a lot of she said this she didn't say that or he said this he didn't say that you know so communication is always key human beings are not magic okay we don't just read things out of people's heads i find that when i was young or when you're young that's what you usually think you expect people to act a certain way because you expect them to see certain things or just automatically know how you feel um but it just doesn't work like that and marriage has taught me that i'm not gonna lie marriage has taught me to communicate your feelings every step of the way because your partner is never gonna know except if you know i 
don't know. I, I don't know. But they just you 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 need to be able to tell the person how you feel about a situation, about them, um, about how you want to be treated. So communication is really really important if you're dating in your twenties. Um, it will go along with saving you from a lot of situations that you don't even need to find yourself in. Now my third point is do not rush to be in a relationship in your 20s and i think i've said this a few times in past episodes rushing to be in a relationship really is not the way because most of the times you end up in the wrong relationship nine out of ten nine times out of ten if you're rushing or see if you're so pressured to be with this person and you're like you want to be with this person the person's not even giving you attention and you're you i mean i'm not giving you a good example generally don't rush to be in a relationship in your 20s because you don't have to be in a relationship by 20 something year old okay there's i always say that there's so much more to life there's so much more that we can achieve i think that as I mean, growing up as an African, what I can say is that as African women, we definitely prioritize relationship right out of like high school or university because as a woman, you're seeing that you have to be able to be, I mean, you have to be married at a certain age and whatnot, but that is not really it. Okay. There's a lot more people get married at 40 and that just could be life. So don't, don't like spend, I don't want you to spend a whole bunch of your 20 something year old looking for that perfect relationship i know that that's how i can feel like that sometimes and i've been there before when you know when i felt like i just had to find mr perfect so bad and i'm like you know what i don't have to do that and immediately when i stopped doing that i met my husband I'm not even kidding. I say this every time. Immediately when I felt like, you know what, I'm done with searching. I'm done with like consciously going out there to say that I will find someone just by like building connection and going out and whatnot. I'm done. I'm tired. People are not honest. People are not deserving of the type of woman that I am. So I stopped. So um, I want you to not rush don't be pressured by your friends okay by social media by none of that stuff let it be your own pace let it be your own timing and as and when you're ready when you feel like you know yourself enough when you feel like you're ready to go in um to be with somebody or allow someone into your space then you can do that all right now my next point um i'm going to say and i want to put this very carefully be open to new experiences and new people okay just be open to experiencing new people because hear me out your dating life or your 20s while you're dating um and when i say your 20s i mean someone who's obviously still dating (laughs) and out there searching um but you should be open to experiencing new people I'm saying this because sometimes we are very strict in our ways when we're growing up or when we start to date. You know, you set all these rules for yourself. They could be rules that you have even in your family. And when I say rules that you have in your family, it could be um, tribal. You know, you're not open to dating someone out of another tribe just because that's what your mom thinks. I think that that is not a fair thing. Um, I think that honestly, you should be open to dating and experiencing different, you know, people from different walks of life. That's how you would really know if you, you know, I mean, that's how you really know um, that I really want to be with this person or I really don't want to be with this person, not because of what society thinks or not because of what my mom thinks, but just because of what I don't want or because I don't think that this person is the right person for me. I think that generally you should be open to, you know, experiencing different types of adventures and the dating scene is not marriage. So you guys, and yeah, like it's not Barry, if you get what I'm saying, it shouldn't be anything Barry. You should be open to experiencing different different people and different experiences so that way you can make a decision until y'all make it official then you're still dating okay and so y'all say that you know you're my official boyfriend or you're my official girlfriend then 
no we're still dating so while you're dating be open to knowing other people be open to talking to people from you know just all different kinds of places just so that you can have open-mindedness okay <laughs> i feel like that's a very good point because i grew up in an environment where um you know it's it's not really spoken about but it's there you know you know that certain tribes don't really like marrying into certain tribes because that's just what society has been doing for so many years and i think that that is not a good thing because people should be allowed to explore to get to know other people and just to like you know um have different experiences in their life before they get married or before they settle down so now my next point is do not neglect your friends or your personal self or your hobbies you know the things that make you you as a person don't ignore ignore them once you start to date or once you start seeing somebody i know i know there's a saying that says bros before holes or sisters before boyfriends i don't know if that's the other one i don't know if that's how they say it. but you guys know the saying that once you get into a relationship um majority of the times when you get into a relationship you feel like that's it you don't need anybody else but no as forever and ever in your life you want to still maintain friendships out of your relationship because they serve different purposes okay different very very different purposes okay you want to still have your friends you want to still have your hobbies you know you want to still have those recharges for you those people that you know that you can always call um aside your partner not even i'm not the type to think oh what if my partner breaks up with me who am i going to go back to i don't think like that i don't like to harbor a lot of negative thinking but your friends are your friends i mean the fact that you're dating doesn't mean that your friends are not going to be your friends again or the fact that you're dating doesn't mean that your friends are not worthy of being your friends again so um whilst you're so whilst you're trying to nurture that relationship with that person you also want to still keep up with your friendship you want to be that friend who is still going to be there for your friends and then also be that person for yourself you know do the hobbies that you still enjoy doing um if it's doodling anything that you want to do honestly i would do a little bit of coloring sometimes because i'm a big baby and i don't think i'm ever gonna grow yeah <laughs> but i have a bunch of things that i do that are like true to me that my husband doesn't do if you get what i'm saying so and he knows that i have things that i personally enjoy and i know that he has things that he enjoys you know so we you should still be in touch with yourself and with that being said keeping that friendship or keeping that external friendships on the side is also really good because you still have um you know those people to check in with you have those people to hang out with you know you can't always be relationship 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 no so you don't want to neglect your friends or your hobbies or anything of that sort because that will help you have that balance life because in turn you're just going to be your partner's partner and you're always going to be his handbag so you want to have a life aside your relationship so that you know you have that balance going on you're able to have friend time me time and relationship time that is really key to me like i need to have me time okay like as a gemini i literally live for friend time me time and relationship time like i know that there's times for all these three things and i make time for them and i don't complain so <laughs> yeah and my next point um that i wanted to make was don't rush i've already said don't rush but this next point is uh, don't like be jumping into one relationship from one relationship to another from just like you literally just left one relationship and then you're into another like no that is not the best thing to do whenever you leave one relationship you need to take your time analyze how that relationship went see what could have gone well or what went wrong and what we could have done better and then that's how you're going to move on into another relationship feeling fresh feeling like yourself again you know having enough time to move on from the relationship that you just got out of because i know that in the 20s we have a lot of heartbreaks heck 
I did have a lot of heartbreaks when I was like dating. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I know that you're definitely going to be going through um, a bunch of those or a few of those before you eventually settle down with that one person. But with that being said, you don't want to jump from one relationship to another straight away. You want to take your time, learn from your past relationships, learn from your past hurts so that you know exactly when to run when you see those red flags in another relationship because you want to take time to heal because going into another relationship is just rebound you're not healing so you want to take time to heal work on you before you move into another relationship and that's very very important and my next point um is to be safe okay to be safe in your 20s and i'm saying this because when i was 20 i mean i'm still 20 something but because i'm married it feels like i'm not 20 something i'm not gonna lie because i'm married it feels like i'm not 20 something um but in my dating life or in my single life trust me i was very all over the place and when i say all over the place in the sense that i would go out at like because i had a radio show that would end at 12 a.m at dawn so i would just be walking in town maybe go and grab a drink somewhere at like 1 a.m at 2 a.m and you know sometimes i would go and meet say a friend that i was dating or something and around those times i didn't think that safety was a thing like i'm like i'm a big girl i can take care of myself you know that but i just want to say that be safe okay be safe out there people are crazy um people are just downright crazy so you want to be safe um be safe in your everything that you're doing you know what i'm saying okay we're not kids here and i know that i'm not about to sit here and advise anybody here to do what's whatever whatever but just be safe in everything that you do be safe okay just be safe stay safe play safe be safe be safe 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 if you're going to have sex have safe sex um because you don't want to be having unprotected sex with someone that you haven't settled down with um you know so be safe be safe as much as you can out here in these streets people are the ghetto so be safe you don't know where people are entering you don't know where people are going so be safe okay and while you're out there be safe take physical precaution if it's your little spray you know pepper spray that you have have that just be safe out there okay and my last but not the least point which is very important to me don't settle for anything that is less than what you deserve okay and this is a point that you probably see everywhere in the world right now but that's just because it's true you never want to settle especially when it comes to your relationships and just dating and allowing someone into that space i feel like when we're young we don't really think of how um truly special having a relationship with someone is so you just tend to let any and everyone into that space or you tend to settle for any and everything especially if you've been maybe searching for a long time and you still haven't found that person you just tend to settle for anything that you're offered but I, I'm here to tell you that it might take a long time but you still will come um, or you still will meet that person that you deserve or that is right for you so with that being said please do not settle for anything that is less than what you deserve settle for nothing but the best okay okay settle for only the best settle for only the people who put your priority first settle for only the people who love you as much as you love them back you know and only the people who care for you as much as you care for them okay and finally i just want to say that be gentle with yourself or be kind to yourself while you're at it um you don't need to rush to be in a relationship i repeat that so don't feel pressured in any way enjoy your single time with yourself eventually when you get married it's for life you're going to have this one partner for life literally dating in your 20s can be an experience but i hope that these points will alleviate some stress that you're feeling um and i hope that i am able to be that big sister that you need right now <laughs> i don't know i'm shaking my shoulder but that's what i want to do but i hope that this video helps 
a 20 something year old out there comment below let me know if you have any questions but this brings me to the end of this episode i hope that you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe like and share the video and i'll see you guys in the next episode of bed with ben Hine. on that note don't forget to be the best version of yourself bye <laughs>